Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tay, and I am back with a new video. I know it's been a minute since you guys have seen me. I know I've been missing in action, honey, but I am back. And this look is going to be a soft, neutral, glammy, smoky eye. So if you like what you see, keep watching. So starting out, I'm going to be shaving my natural eyebrow. Uh, me personally, I like a straight brow. And in order for me to achieve that, I have to shave off half of my brow. This is not suggested, but if you want a straight brow and you have thicker eyebrows, this is probably what you're gonna have to do. But if you like your natural eyebrow shape, stick with what you have. Now I'm gonna be moving on to drawing them on. I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow and Dark Brown, and I'm gonna start with a straight line starting from underneath, and I'm thinning that out towards the end and making a tail. Once that's completed, I go up top and connect the two lines. Um, and then I end up filling that part in and making sure that it is the way that I like it. Next, I'm gonna be taking the brush and doing some hair-like strokes. That's going to be the front part of my brow. I like a more sparser look towards the front and a filled out look towards the back. Next, I'm gonna be using some concealer. Doesn't matter what concealer it is, you could just use whatever concealer fits best for your skin tone and your skin type. And I'm gonna be shaping out the bottom part of my eyebrow, making sure that it's perfected to my liking. And I'm gonna uh, shape the top as well too. I find that the less concealer that you use around your brows, the better off that they will end up looking. Uh, sometimes I've been guilty of this in the past of using too much concealer around the brow and it gives a halo look. But as you can see here, I didn't use as much and I'm blending that out with a nice fluffy blending brush that is meant for creams. Next, I'm gonna be using some foundation. Uh, this foundation is of course the Maybelline Fit Me, one of my favorite foundations of all time because of its accessibility, um, the way it blends out, the color matches my skin pretty well. And I'm just gonna blend this all over my face, of course, and uh, make sure that it looks even going down my neck, everywhere. Now I'm using the matching concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just dotting that on to the areas where I want to highlight. So for me, that's gonna be underneath my eyes, also my forehead, my chin, the corners of my mouth, and the tip of my nose. Those are the areas that I want to bring forward so that when I'm catching light, it pretty much accentuates those areas. So I'm gonna blend that out with a e.l.f. mini stippling brush. And I'm gonna take my time doing that because of course I want it to look flawless and effortless. So the more you blend, the better off your concealer highlight area will end up looking overall. So next I'm gonna be moving on to applying some powder to set my highlight. This is the Olive Sand by Ben Nye and I'm gonna be applying that with a brush, just making sure that I don't over apply so that it doesn't look cakey and ashy. Now I'm gonna be using some contour powder and the contour powder that I'm using is by Black Radiance and it's in the shade Coffee and it's from their Press Powder collection. Moving on, I'm gonna be applying some primer for my lids and this is by Urban Decay and it's their Primer Potion and I'm just gonna apply that to the lids directly so that when I apply my eyeshadow, it has something to stick onto and it will last a good long while. I'm gonna be using a warm reddish brown and that's gonna be my transition shade, which I'm gonna apply in my crease area, blending that out with a really fluffy brush. And you wanna take your time to build this color up. You don't wanna start off with a lot of product. It's best to start off with a little bit and work your way up to more. You can't take away when you add too much, but you can definitely add more when you add little by little. Next, I'm gonna be using a grayish dark brown and I'm gonna apply that to the outer third of my eye trailing down to the bottom lash line um, about halfway you don't want to go full rim with it but about halfway down you'll you know get that smoky effect so you want to take your time and blend this because this color is pretty dark you like i said you want to add as opposed to trying to subtract so the more you add on gradually the better off you'll end up being so now i'm adding some black just to heighten that area just to give it more depth and I'm applying that with a dense, thick brush. Next, moving on, I'm gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk, and I'm gonna apply that as a base for the next shade that I'm gonna apply over top of that, which is going to be a camel brownish type of color, almost like a nude. So that, I used a skin finish type of product, 
uh, it's meant to set your skin and your foundation. I just used it as an eyeshadow. You should always feel free to use your products in a multitude of ways, just so that you're getting the best bang for your buck. So I find that I could use, you know, sometimes lipsticks as blushes or as, you know, color correctors. So I highly suggest playing around with your makeup and using it for multitudes of different reasons. So I'm packing that on and just making sure that both sides are even going back in with that brush just to smoke it out a little bit and making sure that it's blended out really evenly. Moving on, I'm going to be using some black eyeliner in the waterline and I'm making sure that that black eyeliner is applied evenly and thick. You want that black to be as black as possible. So I'm really, really applying that black on. Moving on, I'm using the e.l.f. Expert Liner in the shade Jet Black and I'm going to be applying that pretty much over the top of my eye. I'm going to be extending it out in the front to give that cat eye effect. Not a, I like to call it reverse cat eye because it's towards the front and not towards the back. Um, I didn't drag out this eyeliner. I just kept it out in the front so there's no real cat eye. It's just like a really extended front which I find to be a little bit more on the classy side. I like that. It gives you a more feline look. Moving on, I'm using some mascara so that when I apply my false lashes, my real lashes can blend in. So once I'm done, I apply the false lashes. I like to use a brush on adhesive because the brush on adhesive dries very quickly and it attaches and stays on all day long and these lashes are really full and feathery so that's the type of lash you want for this look moving on i'm applying some highlighter this is kind of like a shimmery champagne type of highlighter um, and i'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin once that's been applied, I'm going to move on to applying some lip liner and uh, the lip liner that I'm going to be using is by NYX and it is called Dark Brown and I'm going to apply that of course to my lip line. I'm going to go a little bit above my lip line because I want to exaggerate this feature. It's one of my favorite features. It's a really good exaggerated juicy glossy lip. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to purse my lips together to blend out that lip liner. Next, I'm using the shade Madeline and that is their Butter Gloss from NYX. Once that's done, I am complete, child. I am done, and this is the finished product. I really hope that you like this look. It was a lot of fun doing it. Um, this was the first time I got an opportunity to record with my fiance and my beautiful baby boy. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.